Hello everyone and coming to you today from the largest stadium in the Balearic Islands, the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking of course about La Liga. It's Mallorca and they face Elche. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, it's true to say they've had their difficulties away from home. In fact, looking at the record, Stuart, they've hit rock bottom. Well, still without a win away from home. And unless they play with more ambition, I'm not sure we'll see one today. I just can't see where they'll cause problems for their opponents here. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively. And if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Well, going for power from there but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Well, he's given us away. Opportunity to take the lead and denied by the post. Moving forward effectively. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Well, that pass easy on the eye. And now waiting to pounce. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Cardona, and he's made headway, and a goal! That's his brace, they just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again, he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Mascarel. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? High echelon goalkeeping there.
Okay, I can confirm a change to the scoreline in the Sevilla game. Who has found the net? Alex Scott will tell us. Yeah, another goal for Sevilla. They're ahead by two now. Must score! A goal! And it's very much game on here! Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And players waiting in the centre. It has to be! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And there goes the final whistle for the visitors. Another disappointing experience, another defeat. Well, it's no great surprise, is it? They've been terrible on the road, and today was no different. The biggest worry for me is their apparent lack of desire. Unless that changes, we'll keep seeing displays like this.